Hi students, we're starting dictation with our common dictation reminders. Remember that you should try to write as much as you can. Of course, you're not going to be able to catch every word from every sentence, and that's really okay if you can't catch all of the words. That's why you're here, is to improve your ability to listen and interpret spoken American English. Remember that we always practice the sentences multiple times. The first few times, you'll hear the sentences fast, using my reduced spoken American English. If you can't catch it, wait until the second practice, when we're going to be slowing the sentences down, using our more clear pronunciation, and then making comparison between the clear pronunciation and the reduced pronunciation of American English. Remember to be patient. This is a difficult skill to improve upon. Um, also remember that this isn't about speaking like me. This isn't a pronunciation activity. This is about adjusting your ear and improving your ability to listen to and interpret spoken American English so that you can easier, so that you can have an easier time understanding people um, at your child's school, at your work, at the grocery store. Are you feeling ready? Let's begin. Today we have six sentences and four of them are longer, so make sure that you take your time to listen to the entire phrase before you go back and start writing. Let's come to number one. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. Number two. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. Come to number three. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. These first three sentences, numbers one, two, and three, they're long. Don't feel bad if you missed big chunks of them. Don't keep going back and listening again and again. Just move on and let's go on to number four. I think we're almost out of milk. 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 Number five. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today.
I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. Finally, number six. He's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. He's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. He's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. He's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. All right, let's come back one more time for each sentence. Number one, she's gonna be traveling out of town this weekend. Number two, I don't know what I'm gonna do if my car is broken. Number three, he had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. Number four. I think we're almost out of milk. Five. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. And six, he's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. All right, before we go into our review of sentences and explanation of the reduced pronunciation, take a minute to go back, look over your sentences, check your grammar, check your punctuation, pause the video, and then come back. All right, let's start with sentence number one. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. You hear my she's reducing into my contraction. She is, she's. My going to reducing to my common reduction of gonna. She's going to be, she's going to be traveling. And most of the time in spoken American English, you don't hear a strong ing on an ing word. So I don't say traveling, I say traveling. She's going to be traveling. She's going to be traveling out of town, out of, out of town. And I didn't write these as the D, but you hear the D in my out of. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. Number two, I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. We hear the don't know becoming this very common reduction of dunno. And similar to gonna, this dunno is acceptable in informal writing, but it's considered unacceptable in formal written English. I don't know what I'm going to do. And just to remind you about this, I don't know what I'm going to do. Remember that my I'm gonna can reduce even further to this I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Blah, blah, blah. My tongue gets twisted up. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car's broken. My car's broken. You hear my words of car and is combining to a contraction of cars if my car is broken. Number three, I was trying to push you with the three different types of the word to. We have to as a preposition. We have 
2 as a number, and we have 2 TOO to describe more than or a lot of something. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. He had to take a ride. You hear had to. This T becomes the softer D and pushes together to make this had to, had to. He had to go. He had to take. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. at 2 a.m. You hear my T for the number two pushes into my word of at. You don't hear at two. You hear at two push together. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. When he was, when he was, the he pushing back into my N when he was too tired to drive. My T-O-O -O comes out really strong, too tired. My T-W-O is also pronounced really strong, 2 a.m. But my T-O, which is connected to the infinitive verb, is reduced, is held back. He was too tired to drive. He was too tired, too tired to drive. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. Now I know numbers 1, 2, and 3 were pretty difficult. I hope that 4, 5, and 6 were a little bit easier. Number 4, I think we're almost out of milk. I think we're almost out of milk. You hear my contraction of we are becoming we're, we're, we're almost. I think we're, I think we're, most often I hear students, I hear um, American English speakers say, I think we're, we're almost out of milk. We're going to go. We're, we're thinking about traveling. I think we're almost out of milk. Again, with this out of, reducing into this sound of out of. Outa. And again, the, t the double T becoming this unreleased sound of duh. I think we're almost out of milk. Number five. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. I got out of bed. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. Again, my phrase out of reducing to this outer. I got out of bed. My D of bed and my E on earlier, they, they push together, they blend together, they link together. I got out of bed earlier, I got out of bed earlier than I wanted to, than I wanted, wanted to. The D at the end of wanted pulls this two to make it a double D sound. Wanted do, wanted do. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. Ah, and I didn't mark it, but I do think that my T on today is also unreleased and it sounds more like a D. I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. All right, our last one, number six. He's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. He's out of money. He is, combining to my contraction of he's, out of, reducing to this outa, he's out of money. He's out of money, so he needs to, he needs to, he needs to find a new job, find a, find a. You hear the, the D at the end of find, pushing into the A of a new job. Find a new job. So one more time, all of our six sentences. She's going to be traveling out of town this weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do if my car is broken. He had to take a ride at 2 a.m. when he was too tired to drive. I think we're almost out of milk. 
I got out of bed earlier than I want to do today. He's out of money, so he needs to find a new job. Alright, that's the end of dictation for today. I hope I'll see you later. See you next time. How'd you do on this dictation? How'd you? How'd you do on this dictation? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one was the hardest for you, which one you'd like to practice a little bit more of. Or let me know if they were all feeling easy for you too. It's always good to look at your success as well as your difficulties. Finally, my student told me I'm supposed to tell you. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Have a good day. Bye.